Okay, who's ready for Cloud Native Project Updates Part 2? We have so many amazing updates. We're excited to present this Part 2, so let's get ready. That's right. Without further ado, let's dive into the achievements made by our, by our incubating projects. CNCF projects are like our Cloud Native cars. There's something for everyone, and they help get you to where you need to be. So let's learn how they're building for the road ahead with these project updates. All right, you ready? Let's do this. If you've seen this before, it will take a while, but we can handle this. So let's start with Kubevert. So Kubevert is a virtual machine management add-on for Kubernetes. It offers virtualization solutions on top of Kubernetes. The recent initiatives from the project include the alignment with Kubernetes releases for improved operations, the introduction of instance type and preference custom resources for a human-friendly way of defining virtual mach machine resources, and seamless integration with service meshes with PAST, a new user mode network binding that can connect VMs to pod networks. Moving from a monthly release cycle to an alignment with Kubernetes release has simplified this upgrade path, which has, was a common remark from end users, while also simplifying planning and communication. The version 0.57 focus on continuing stabilization and integration with the, with the broader cloud native ecosystem, while making steady traction on initiatives for the future. It adds USB support, VM, VM snapshots as an export resource, and improved virtual support with Windows consoles, expanding functionality for day-to-day -day operations. Kubevert has also improved virtual to support connections proxied by Rancher and added Trilio Vault as their first integrated backup and recovery provider. A friendly remind, reminder from the project to be kind with criticisms, patient with the reviewers, and always run your local tests. Now we have Flux. Uh, Flux is, uh, provides GitOps for both applications and infrastructure with a set of continuous and progressive delivery solutions for Kubernetes that are open, extensible, and secure and scalable. Recent highlights from the project include the advanced support for OCI and Cosign, bringing greater security and scalability to GitOps, improvements in the controller and security, including fuzzing and docs for best practices, as well as API consolid consolidation, putting it near to GA. The Terraform controller uh, is something that got the users excited as one of Flux tools that help, help strengthen the ecosystem. Users have shown excitement as well about the support of uh, OCI in Flux with the manifests alongside app image layers. The ecosystem continues growing with Terraform integration as well as VS Code and using Flux with OpenShift. Version 0.32 brings greater security for enterprise users, OCI support across all types, all source types, and this is Helm, Customize, Plain YAML, Terraform, Q, etc. The Helm support retains release info supports dynamic functions and hooks. The Flux project asks everyone to go ahead and try the Terraform controller, the VS Code extensions, and the UI, which is fully supported by the project. Next up, we have Knative. So Knative was recently included in incubation earlier this year. It's a project that adds components for deploying, running, and managing serverless cloud-native applications to Kubernetes, focusing on improved productivity and operational cost reduction. With Knative 1.8, functions is now generally available, and the same happens for RabbitMQ APIs for broker and source. Knative is also moving from a six-week release cycle to quarter releases. On the adopter side, the project's downstream, vendors, OSS, and end users will have a better update experience with these fewer releases per year. The RabbitMQ APIs provide a high-performance, out-of-order uh, message delivery alternative to Kafka for those who need it. The project recommends checking the blog post uh, called Enterprise Grade Serverless on Your Own Terms with CSUIT stakeholders to understand the value of using Knative in Kubernetes IT projects. Finally, the project is asking also for feedback and contributions to reduce friction and improve the event operating model. Key initiatives include the focus on SBOMs, SALS compliance, image, and binary signing. They would love to hear more from both developers and companies. All right, Emissary Ingress is an open source Kubernetes native API gateway, layer seven load balancer, and Kubernetes Ingress built on Envoy Proxy. Reci recent initiatives of the project include adding support for HTTP3 to downstream clients, increased stability and performance, and the project is now built on the latest version of Envoy Proxy. 
HTTP3 is the latest version of the protocol that powers the internet, so organizations aiming to adopt HTTP3 protocol can do so with Emissary Ingress and version 3.0. It provides pr improved performance and increased stability, particularly on lossy networks and use cases such as Edge and Internet of Things. Version 3.0 also provides an upgrade to Envoy Proxy 122, addressing CVEs in older versions of the project and expanding on performance improvements. The project would love to see users experiment with HTTP 3 and welcomes feedback from the community. Backstage is a framework for building developer portals. It restores order to your microservices and infrastructure without compromising autonomy. The project has a lot of initiatives to report. The core framework saw a 1.0 release, a third-party security audit sponsored by OSTIF resulted in 12 main findings, and with eight fixed in 1.5.0 and four being assessed in the newly introduced threat model. They've established new communication channels with the software catalog SIG, with more in development, and finally, the growth of the plugin ecosystem has over 70 in the pipeline today. Users have been giving very good feedback from the 1.0 release and the improved security posture through the threat model documentation. And the project has grown in maturity due to a huge spike in public adopters starting at just 80 at the beginning of this year and well over 200 today. The 1.0 release was a huge milestone for the project. With the current 1.6 version, the project set on a solid release cadence with callouts to security fixes, new plugins, and backend services for improved scalability and maintenance. The project asks you all to join the community, check the existing plugin ecosystem, and would love to see more plugin contributions, particularly from maintainers of other CNCF projects. Cilium is a networking, observability, and security solution built on eBPF. As a CNI, it provides a simple flat L3 network layer that can span multiple clusters, ingress and egress gateways, service mesh, visibility, and monitoring, among many other features of the project. Project initiatives include the sidecar list Cilium service mesh and their 1.12 release, which is all the buzz, an ongoing third-party security and fuzzing audit, and the project is thrilled to announce Microsoft AKS CNO is now powered by Cilium. Cilium's continued focus on security will strengthen the defenses of infrastructures adopting Cilium and is a required preparation for graduation. The sidecarless Cilium service mesh is less complex and has high throughput, lower latency, and reduced resource consumption. The Cilium project also has an LFX mentee to improve its software supply chain security. The project encourages folks to stop by their booth for demos to learn more about the project and to fill out the Cilium user survey. NATS is a connective fabric to exchange data between digital endpoints from microservices to modern cloud native applications and Kubernetes. It's cloud agnostic and can be deployed anywhere to bridge Kubernetes, bare metal, VMs, and low resource hardware. The top initiatives from the project include improving memory usage for Kubernetes, ultra high scalability, and mobility features and runtime placement and migration of stream, key value store, and objects. This moves data closer to applications and ensures business continuity during upgrades. With the ability to directly access Data with a lightweight API, NAS can support millions of consumers of persisted streams, KV, and object stores. This is useful for Internet of Things, mobile, and any type of application at scale. The 2.9 release is a milestone with improved performance under Kubernetes, greater scale, mobility, and improved stability towards operation at massive scale with zero downtime. The project is asking folks to try installing via Helm charts and would love your feedback. Cloud Events defines common event metadata and how to expose it in various formats and transports. It enables the quick processing of events without the need to understand the schema and semantics. Recent project initiatives include a draft specification that standardized the component lifecycle of eventing, such as service discovery, subscription management, and event delivery, to new Cloud Events supported formats like XML, CBOR, and translation of Cloud Event specifications to Chinese and Hebrew. Release 1.0.2 has seen steady adoption growth with an increase in end user participation in the working group and request for new features. Falco is a runtime security project enabling threat detection at scale. It observes the application and container behavior, extending threat detection with plugins. Recent project uh, initiatives include a new eBVF probe with CORE and BTF support, support for ARM and GVisor with Falco being able to monitor GVisor sandboxes, and new plugins to detect security threats in GitHub and Okta Activity. GVisor has adopted Falco as a complementary solution for threat detection in their security project. The real-world impact for many users that benefited from this collaboration to simultaneously use the enhanced isolation in GVisor and the threat detection audits in Falco improve container security. 
Version 0.33 brings support for inspecting multiple data sources simultaneously, improved kernel compatibility, stabilized support for ARM architecture, and Falco control, a new first-class tool to keep rules and plugins up to date. Falco is looking into increasing diversity and participa participation in the community and is actively seeking new C, C++, and Go developers, and also non-code contributors. Cryo is an OCI-compliant implementation of the Kubernetes container runtime interface strictly built for Kubernetes. Cryo is reimagining pieces of its stack to be better compatible with edge use cases with recent initiatives, including progress on a rewrite of its container monitor in Rust, bringing better accounting of pod-level resources and a reduction of virtual memory for pods with many containers. It has also added support for alpha caps, such as user namespaces, checkpoint and restore, and release artifact verification with SBOMs and SIGSTOR. Release 1.25.0 was done soon after Kubernetes 1.25, and as always, has been tested in lockstep with Kubernetes release and follows the features added to it. Cryo is eager for new contributors of any variety, and you can reach out on the Cryo Slack channel. OpenTelemetry provides high quality, ubiquitous, and portable telemetry to enable effective observability. After metrics, become stable, after metrics became stable in May, they've become generally available for Java, JavaScript, Python, and .NET. The project is now focusing on completing and releasing logs as a new signal type with support for existing file-based logs, and eventually a new strongly typed binary format. New work streams launch for client instrumentation, capturing poor client performance and things like high latency. A new cool demo has been created by the community, which includes different infrastructures, databases, and services written in almost every language. A great way to learn how to quickly gather critical signals, uh, signals from systems and, see, and seeing advanced configurations in action. Go and check out the demo, and as always, it's also a great way to get started as a contributor. We did it. Oh, we're good. <laughs> well, well done, everyone. I think. We, we had made a lot of progress again from, from Valencia in just six months. It's always good to see the updates.